Today's best music, Y103. It's Shannon and Mike in the morning with a Carmike movie review. That's right. Our first movie review is Sanctum. James Cameron, executive producer. He had great water themed hits like The Abyss, uh, of course, Titanic, and now he's kind of attached his name to this one. He sort of does have a water thing, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. Uh, my favorite water flick of all time is still Jaws, though. Sorry. And they don't end all that well. No, they don't. <laughs> no, they don't. And this one is pretty much the same. Pretty much. Uh, beautiful scenery. I am a little bit tired of seeing all the 3D movies. I would rather maybe have a movie that's just normal. I get a little motion sick. I don't really like the glasses so much. So, gotcha. Uh, that was my biggest thing with this movie. I didn't know it was 3D when we got there. Well, the whole thing, though, the, it had a potential filled plot, the 3D effects. Uh, the R rating made you go, what's that all about? And you know? uh, we quickly found out. <laughs> and then, yeah. And I thought this movie would work. I mean, he's had good luck on the water, if you would, and this time, just, just not as much. Um, a team of experts exploring the ginormous caves of the South Pacific. Uh, it's him, his reluctant son. We, he's got a, there's an owner, the guy, the billionaire that's financing everything, and his girlfriend, and some other extras. They're down in this huge cave, and uh, a monsoon hits, typhoon hits, and they get stuck, and the rest of the movie's pretty much them trying to get out of these underwater tunnels and caves. I really was kind of expecting something to happen, never really paid off, kept waiting for it, I was a little bit bored, um, just kept thinking maybe something prehistoric, uh, cannibalistic, <laughs> something well, was going to happen. I thought mm -hmm. it was going to be, there's a movie called The Descent, which uh, is kind of reminiscent of this movie a little bit, but that's where I thought the movie was going to go, and it, it just it didn't go anywhere. No. And as far as the R rating goes, you're thinking, wow, it's, R -ra it's R rated, it's it's got Cameron on top of it, and this whole ball of wax, and it just, all it is is profanity. It's but a lot of, uh, pretty much every other you word. You pretty much take out a couple of F-bombs, and this is PG-13. Yeah, it's, uh, there was only one part that was graphic at all. Um, right. But other than that, uh, pretty easy to figure out. They kind of led you along into what was going to happen right, right. before it happened. So you sort of knew what was going to happen in the movie. It's not one of those that will leave you confused at all. <laughs> Promising acting, uh, though, by the hot young actor. I, I liked him. What was his name? I think it's Reese Wakefield. Okay, just making sure. I know. Might be Bryce. I'm not sure. <laughs> no, I'm not sure. Like I said, Cameron, uh, apparently it's his 3D technology that's used throughout the movie. I mean, there's some cool wow moments as far as the photography and the scenery and whatnot. But other than that, the movie was just kind of there. Yeah, you can you can yeah. tell it's just his 3D specialty that uh, was used because I wasn't really all that impressed. I was going in thinking Titanic, Avatar, really oh, yeah. impress us with this movie. Um, you know, a lot of plunging cliffs, some claustrophobia a right. little bit. Um, very good graphics, underwater graphics, but other than that, I just... The movie was kind of dark, too. I had to take off my glasses a few times during the movie right. to be able to see what was going on. Um, not the best movie for me. It was just, I don't know. It was okay. Uh, like I said, The Abyss and Titanic are far superior. If you're into this kind of maybe under underground mystery, whatever's going on, I would definitely recommend The Descent. But uh, I don't know. It's just it was just okay. It was it was an okay movie, but I would I don't know that I would recommend spending what was it ten fifty yeah ten fifty to go see it. And I went so I'd say out of four stars, I'd give it two and a half, maybe two. I was a little bit bored. Um, I'm gonna go with two stars. Two stars. I would I would definitely not do a thumbs up. Okay. And but as far as the venue, the strand, very clean, very friendly, oh, popcorn was fantastic. Milk duds and a icy I was happy. Michael's five. Hopefully <laughs> where. And a spoiler alert. Someone might drown in this movie. You might see might one or two people. I don't know. I don't know. Off one by one. Who knows? So <laughs> there's your uh, Sanctum movie review brought to you by Carmike Cinemas. Uh, be listening weekday mornings for your chance to win free movie passes to go check out the movie of your choice at Hickory Point or The Strand. With that one movie and today's best music, Y103. See ya.